с тобою моя любов, ми дивимось на світ My name's Colin Vaines. Uh, I'm an independent film producer. Uh, I've worked on big films and small films. I, I worked on films like Gangs of New York. I did The Young Victoria. I've also worked on much sm smaller films, like with the artist Jake Chapman. I made a four-part series for Sky Arts, which was based on a book that Jake had written. I got involved with this project because I've known Pauline for a number of years, and she sent me an outline, or in fact it was pretty much a first draft script of what she wanted to do, uh, which I thought was very intriguing uh, and powerful because it is about the story of, a, of an artist who's imprisoned by an unnamed regime and it felt relevant in the world in a way that, that a lot of projects don't necessarily feel relevant and powerful and a story that needed to be told. So I gave her some initial advice on the script Pauline's very much a self-starter. She tends to go off and get on and do things. And she very quickly found a camera crew that she wanted to work with and really drove the project forward in quite a big way. I come to projects as a creative producer. I'm very much more the kind of creative side rather than the nuts and bolts side, like they always say about producers, that there's producers who work creatively and there's the producers who work out how to get the elephants to Croydon. And I'm very much the former. Uh, once she'd finished shooting it and I introduced her to a really remarkable editor who came on, was very enthusiastic about the project and has worked very, very closely with her ever since. I also um, went to my friend Elan Eshkeri, who's a great film composer, who worked on things like Stardust for Matthew Vaughan, and uh, he did Young Victoria for me, and Coriolanus for me as well, Ray Fiennes' film. And he introduced us to a, a musician who'd worked with him a lot, Jessica, uh, who worked on the music with Pauline, because Pauline, even in that area, because she's a very creative person, had an idea for a theme that then the Jessica could work with. Uh, and later in the process that uh, Elan came back in, to work on the arrangement and the, the, the various parts of uh, the song that was being used at the end of the film, which was beautifully sung, but we felt was slightly overproduced in its element. So he simplified that and worked on that rather brilliantly, I might say. And I also introduced her to a great sound designer that I'd worked with a guy called Paul Davis, who I think is one of the best sound designers in, in, the, in the world, actually. Uh, he did Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool for me. He's done a lot of other great films. And he said, my assistant, who I'm training up, I think would do a brilliant job with this. So we brought him in, Tim Burns, who's a really remarkable guy. A good sound designer contributes so much to a film that in this case, you've got not only what's happening in the prison cell itself, but the sounds that are happening around it and outside it, which are a huge contribution to the effect of the film. Basically, I used my connections to get people who were basically doing it for the love of doing it, um, rather than, than for the you know, kind of great financial reward or whatever, but they were committed 100% to what they were doing. And I felt that was really a kind of a really a, a real mark of the quality of the film, that, it, that people would look at it and really want to be involved in it.